Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital teasers, Sasha Corbin's one-night stand with Michael Corinthos might turn out to be a painful one. It's obvious that Sasha, Willow Corinthos, or both, may become pregnant with all the bed hopping that's happening in Port Charles. If Sasha discovers she is expecting, will she pretend to be a baby daddy? General Hospital spoilers. Is a romance between Sasha and Jason imminent? According to GA spoilers, there may soon be a love tale between Sasha and Jason Morgan. After he unexpectedly rescued her from Jen Sidwell, the two could finally start dating because they both needed a good romance. After Jason saved Sasha from Sidwell, fans sensed a connection between the two, and there may be some intriguing chemistry between them. But what would happen to their romance if Sasha discovered she was expecting? Jason Morgan is being drawn into this plot, according to Gia Spoilers. Fans are reminded by Gia Spoilers that this week Jason will learn about Drew Quartermain's affair with Willa Corinthos. In addition to Michael confiding in Jason, the weekly teaser video for the soap opera also showed Stone Cold reacting strongly with an intense altercation with Drew. Michael is likely to inform Jason about his inebriated one-night stand with Sasha. Over the course of the upcoming weeks, Jason and Sasha might find themselves in each other's spheres of influence. When she realizes her period is late, they might initiate a conversation or possibly just become friends. Jason is likely to come forward and assert that the child is his when it is revealed that she is pregnant. Given the messiness of the situation and his desire to protect Michael, particularly if Willow and Jason decide to move on and make amends, it is not entirely implausible that Jason would pose as the father of Sasha's child. This would not be the first time Jason has done this. Christina continued to play up the idea of seeking revenge on Iva because she believed she could handle anything that Rick threw at her. Christina maintained that justice and retribution were intertwined in this instance, despite Alexis's insistence that the law was about justice. Ava would be judged for her background in court, Rick noted at Café Sherry. He made Ava answer questions concerning Morgan Corinthos, Connie Falconeri, and other subjects since he believed that Ava taking the stand was still their best course of action. Ultimately, a tearful Ava described how she had had trouble falling asleep after hearing the glass break and seeing Christina's face as she fell. Rick pushed Ava to make a speech like that in court and predicted that she would win because she would do anything to get Christina her baby back. Trainer Robinson ran into TJ Ashford in the boxing gym, and he talked candidly about Molly Lansing Davis's lack of intimacy, which has increased after Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, left. Trina and Kai Taylor had another heated exchange after he arrived. Trina was in the midst of finding a new project partner, but Kai was determined to attend his classes and improve her grade. Trina hoped she wouldn't have to see Kai ever again if it was authorized. Trina stormed off, and Kai was dejected by the news. Isaiah Gannon discovered it was a copy of Little Women when he picked up the book Molly had left at Bobby's. Molly acknowledged that everyone else had forgotten, but she claimed it was a birthday present for herself. Molly clarified that her family was coping with the unexpected death of her sister, but Isaiah felt there was no justification for it. Isaiah acknowledged performing Lulu Spencer's portion of the transplant after discovering Molly was referring to Sam. As Molly talked about feeling like the sisters in Little Women, Isaiah listened and offered his condolences. Molly found it difficult to use the past tense while discussing Sam now that she was gone. Molly blew out the candle, wishing for something that will never come true, after Isaiah surprised her with a cupcake from Bobby's. Terry Randolph called Isaiah after he had departed, asking him to come to Gie. The sisters had a lovely moment together when Christina found Molly and gave her a necklace for her birthday. Nina Reeves attempted to stop Jason Morgan from punching Drew Quartermain, breaking up the fight. Estate. Drew also got into various arguments. When Drew questioned Jason about why he had attacked him, 
Jason merely replied that Drew was aware of the reason and walked away. Ned agreed that it would be best if Drew didn't call the police or send for an ambulance. Nina made the decision to at least arrange for Willow Corinthos to visit Drew and provide medical care. Bea Acute acknowledged that Drew kissed Willow and believed it was the reason for the altercation after Lois Serrillo urged Brooke Lynn Quartermain to tell her what was happening in the kitchen. Willow told Michael at the gatehouse that she was okay with Drew going to Washington, but Michael wasn't sure if that would be sufficient to mend their marriage. Like Willow, Michael wanted to put all of this behind them, but he believed that being open and honest with one another was the first step. Michael and Willow had created a habit of concealing secrets, so this was about more than simply the Drew kiss. Michael emphasized the value of being completely honest with one another once more, but Nina cut him off by stating that Drew had been injured in a fight with Jason. Ned pulled Michael into the foyer of the main house and bemoaned his blabbing to Jason, but Michael needed someone to talk to. Michael became uncomfortable about their continued relationship as he observed Willow tending to Drew's wounds. Willow once whispered to Drew the cause of Jason's outburst, but Drew thought they were the only two who were aware of what had transpired in the playroom. When Jason arrived at Bobby's, Kristina noticed him and gave him a suspicious look due to his broken knuckles. According to general hospital teasers, Jason will soon have to answer Carly Spencer's questions. Watch this space for updates on his response. Felicia will also have some concerns with Anna about Sasha Gilmore Corbin, who is not as familiar with Robert as they are. Felicia might worry that Sasha will have additional abandonment problems and fail to see Robert's kindness. Sasha is already aware of Robert and Holly's leaving, of course. Sasha tells herself that Robert's departure would allow her more time to come to terms with the truth that he is her biological father because she is still struggling to accept this. Speaking of figuring things out, now that he has been called to the hospital, Isaiah Gannon will aim to do just that. Terry Randolph will deny that there is anything wrong with Lulu Spencer's recuperation when Isaiah asks her if there is. In fact, Terry will likely want to hire Isaiah as a full-time surgeon at Guillet because of how well he performed on Lulu's transplant. According to general hospital teasers, Isaiah will receive an alluring offer and he might ultimately accept the position. While working out at the boxing gym, Lucky Spencer will converse with Sonny Corinthos. When Sonny learns that Lucky is considering returning to Africa, he might encourage him to stay in Port Charles. Why should I stay if I can't find what I'm looking for here? In the preview video for Friday, Lucky asks, Sonny might use this as an opportunity to tell Lucky the hard truth and make it clear that it's not all about him. Lucky's constant discussion of what he wants makes him sound like a very self-centered person. What about Aidan Weber's desires, such as a genuine relationship with his father, whom he hardly knows? Lucky needs to give it careful thought because leaving Aidan again would be heartbreaking and could end their love forever. Thankfully, we are aware that Lucky will ultimately remain in Port Charles, possibly in part due to Lulu's impending awakening. Elizabeth Baldwin will gripe to Terry in the meanwhile and be concerned about what Lucky's behavior will do to Aiden. He will have to deal with Carly Spencer's interrogation while alongside Jason. Jason will not provide much of an explanation when Carly presses him for an explanation of why he beat up Drew Quartermain. Rather, Jason will maintain that Carly only needs to know that Drew received all of what he was due. Rick Lansing will take on a new client at the Quartermain home. Rick would joyously hope that they're charging Jason since it looks like Drew will hire Rick as his lawyer. Drew may still need Rick on standby in case everything escalates into more serious issues, but it seems like he would like to keep everything quiet. According to general hospital spoilers, Drew and Willow Corintho's infidelity scandal will undoubtedly lead to more drama in the future. We'll provide you with additional predictions about all the chaos. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.